and welcome to Talking Cookies, the only show that makes eating and interviews go together like milk and cookies. I'm your host, Adam Abrera, and this week we're talking open mic. Oh, oh, bright ideas and an Oreo cookie. It's a bright idea to dunk it or to crunch it or to... Alrighty, spring is approaching faster than me futilely trying to outrun the crippling sense of dread that creeps up on me at 3 a.m. Anyway, the weather's gonna get nice and warm and it's perfect for small animals, like bunnies. Like giant bunnies that break into your house and leave you things while you sleep. And today, we have Emily Sp no. <laughs> we have Amanda Spudo and Emily Rosenberg. Hi, How are you guys hello. doing? I'm sorry I messed up your names. I'm very tired. <laughs> it's okay. Alrighty. So, the Easter Bunny usually puts sweets in Easter baskets sometimes. If, if, if the Easter Bunny wants to. But, maybe they put Oreos. I don't know. The Easter Bunny is unpredictable and so is this show. We're talking cookies. Do you guys like specialty flavors or do you prefer the original? I was always a fan of the original. Mm. However, mint is really good. I yeah. do like mint. It's just like I love mint regardless. So it's like put that in an Oreo and it's like. Also, it's green. It's a cool color. Oh yeah, it's a really cool color. Yeah. Um. Personally, I'm just a big fan of the original. I even like the thins. Like, I, my favorite part is the cookie. So oh. I don't even like the cream that much. Oh, like my I could just I could just do with the cookie. How, uh, I love the cream. <laughs> I've always been a creamy child. So like. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know if that was the right way to say that. I don't know. Uh, I'm a weird person. And what about eating the cookie on another topic of cookies? So do you guys like to dunk it? Do you like to twist, pull it, just eat it straight up like a heathen? I eat it straight up. Okay, that's fair. I usually dunk it. I like mm. when it gets, like, soggy. Oh, I yeah. Like, I, Emily, you're shaking your head. Mm -mm, just no. Just, just eat it. Plain. Okay. Just eat it all. I understand. Just get that mix of the flavors. It's it's quality. And today, uh, Kyle, we got Easter egg Oreos because it's spring and capitalism is amazing. Uh, they're Easter egg shaped, so um, that's fun. And if I'm reading the uh, packaging, and it's five egg shaped designed. And they're literally, it says five, it, it says pink color golden cookie. So it's exactly the same as the golden cookie, but it's just pink. And it looks fun. So opening up the pack. Ah. Ah. Oh gosh. I found the rogue cookie. Oh no. So I got him. And this is fun. Look at that. He's got, he's got a little bunny on it. Y you guys can't see it, but it's a bunny. And then on the other side is Oreo. My friends take... Oh no, it closed. It's okay. <laughs> oh, like, they're small. I didn't think that they would be oval shaped. I thought they would just be like pink. I really I no. really don't... It's an egg shaped and I was like, uh, normal Oreos. <laughs> mm. Just pink. Would you say they're excellent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, uh, I, I love the comedy. I know. Uh, that's why I got my own show. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they literally smell and taste like regular Oreos, even though I haven't put it in my mouth yet, so. Yeah, they're just normal golden Oreos. Yeah. It's classic. But, oh, they remind me of Cheerios. Oh my god, you're right. They just do. like sweet Cheerios. Mm -hmm. That's what I think when I eat these. Mm. I haven't had these in years, so it's like... I don't know, living my best life. I should probably put this table closer next time. Anyway, as much fun as it is to be here and eat cookies and talk to me, I don't know. So, um, let's get to the real filling. What's open mic night? So, open mic night is a night hosted by the Fragments Club, which is a literary arts club. And it's basically a night where people decide to express themselves through a song that they want to sing or a poem that they want to recite or anything else they want to do. I remember one year like someone danced. Oh wow. I know that there's been drag 
on the show. I feel on the show, mm -hmm. on on the stage, and it's overall just a really like great night. So last year was a crime theme, right? What theme is it going to be this year? Um, it's going to be Disney. Um, it's very exciting. You can show up. You can dress up as a Disney character. You know, whatever floats your boat. Oh my God. I would love to dress up, but I, I don't have any clothes that resemble any Disney characters. So now I'm going to feel underdressed and sad. <laughs> but hey, it's going to be a fun night regardless. What was it? I went last year, and that was actually the 19th year they've been doing it. And this year's the 20th anniversary. Yeah, it, it is. So isn't it really exciting to just be here for the 20th year? Yeah, it's really exciting. It really shows like how much fra like fragments and then open mic night and like performance and the arts in general is like such a big part of Epa. Mm. And so like why do we have open mic night? Is there like a specific reason or is it just to show off the talent at school? Not sure. Yeah, I feel like it's more just to like show off that like there's yeah. other talent to the school that you mm. may not know or see. Oh, that's really nice. Like sometimes you don't need like a cause to just have fun and see what people can do. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. So who can perform? Um, anyone. Um, normally we'd accept um, we'd accept like performers up until now, but we do actually have a completely booked night. Oh, so wow. that's really exciting. It's gonna be like nonstop entertainment. Yeah. Nice. And so follow up question. What can people perform for next year if they wanted to perform? Um, poems, uh, songs. It doesn't have to match the theme. It just has to be something that like comes from your heart and you're just like, oh wow, I really want to share this with people. Mm. Uh, um, wow. <laughs> so why should people come out and show up to open mic night? Like. Because it's like cool to like see like what other people have to say and express their creativity. Also, there is food. Yeah, nice a lot. Snacks. Are there cookies. Oreos? I mean, like there could be. There could be. Depends. I might have to bring some. <laughs> you should. You're performing, right? I am performing. So. Um, oh yeah. So definitely. Bring oh yeah, definitely. Oreos. I will bring multiple Oreos. <laughs> As Great. many as my parents will let me buy. So if you guys want to have a super fun night, I would highly recommend you check it out. And before we wrap up, it's time for our best and, and our only segment. That is Kyle's Complaint, featuring our iconic cookie wrangler, Kyle! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the best segment on this show, and the only one, of course, Kyle's Complaint. And today, well, it seems as though there's been quite a bit of absence here at Mepham, but, you know, not student ones, of course, that'd be so boring to talk about. Let's talk about all the teachers that have been absent this week. So, over the past few weeks, I have noticed that not only have there been several absences of my teachers in particular, but there have been absences pretty much in every class. So, let's talk about those people. So, Mr. Stein, my broadcasting teacher and the one who runs this show, I hope he's feeling better, of course, has been out since, um, well, two days past February break. So he's been gone for quite a while, and uh, we haven't seen him. And he hasn't been able to grade my project that I've been working for a few weeks on now. So that's, that's been a little rough for me. Thanks a lot, Mr. Stein. You know, I know you're sick and all, but come on. You know, you could at least, like, I could email it to you, or you could respond to my messages. Ms. Fed's been out for three days. Mr. Leacock was out all of last week. Ms. Larea was out for two days this week. Mr. Axinger was absent today, on Friday. So we just sat there and did nothing. It was great. But, you know, the teachers here kind of make the day, so it's kind of sad when they're not here. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of a bummer that all of them have been absent. You know, and don't worry, I know what all of you are thinking. No, it's not that. It's just, you know, I think they're just tired of living here. Okay, so that's my complaint for this week. Five, four, three. Well, I think that says it all. Uh, what do you guys think of the Oreo? If you could sum it up in one word, what would it be? Gold. Very concise, I like it. 
It's not gold, actually. Well, it's rose gold. Rose gold. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> uh, I would say all right. I'm a fan. I'm still still down to yep. go with the original. Absolutely. I, I understand. Just golden doesn't do it for me. But just chocolate. Chocolate. Well, <laughs> if you guys could describe the event in one word, oh, what would it be? Um, really, really amazing. Everyone should come. Uh, it's Tuesday, March 10th. Um, yeah. Hey, what time is it exactly? I think it's 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Tickets are $5. And if you have any questions, you can ask Miss Maresca, who's in room 230. Yeah. Alrighty, that was more than one word. <laughs> Oops. Uh, do you want to, like, let's say one word. Let's say one word. Um, let's say exciting. Nice. Well, that sounds amazing, and I want to encourage literally everybody to go and enjoy the night. And I'm going to be there, so if you like the show, stop by and say hi. Stop by and say hi to Emily, too. She does all the work in the show. Thank you, thank Yay. you, thank you. No, I'm giving credit where it's due. Uh, I'm so, so tired. <laughs> oh. I feel that. Just, you don't have to say hi. You could just look at me awkwardly. But I think it's time to close the cookie pack. I want to thank our guests for joining us. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for having us. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for eating my food. <laughs> and, um... We'll be back in like three weeks when we spend some more time talking cookies.